Okay, this time I'm going to show you how to do some basic image manipulation with GIMP where we're actually going to try and get a specific part of an image. So it'll make a little bit more sense when I show you what we're going to play with. We're going to play with the barometer here. And so a barometer is a scientific instrument for measuring pressure, that sort of thing. Uh, this is a picture that came from Wikipedia. It's in the public domain. So yay, public domain. Thank you, whoever made this and released it. It's a very good picture. We've got a picture of a nice barometer on the side of a house. We've got an, the bricks in there, the cable, and all of that. Really cool. Nice seeing it where it actually is. Gives people an idea of where you would find this sort of thing. But I, let's say that I want to use it in a presentation and just get the barometer by itself. I don't really want all of the extra brick and all of that. You know, get focused on exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to put it in a picture with a thermometer and some of the other scientific pieces of equipment for meteorology, for instance. And I don't want the brick or anything to overlap and block my ability to put it real close to something else. So I'm going to try and get that barometer by itself. I'll show you how to do that. So in GIMP, we're going to do File, Open. I'm going to do Barometer, JPEG, because that's the file that I have. And we are going to use the Elliptical Select tool. And I'm going to have another video that shows you, just gives you a run through on the different types of selection tools, so you know what they do. But for this one, I'm going to select my barometer here. It's pretty circular, so the elliptical select tool is going to be great. So I drag it out where I get it where I want it, and then I hit Enter, and then now I've got it selected. Now, I want to get rid of all of the stuff that isn't the barometer, so the delete key is a great way to get rid of stuff. Let's try that. Oh, wait, that's right. I selected the barometer, not the other stuff. But I want the barometer. That's going to be hard to select all the other stuff manually, unless I go up here to Select. Our Select tab lets you do different things with the selection options. So I could select All, where I select the entire picture. I could select None. Basically, that clears any selections I have. And this is the one that I really want, which is Invert. Basically, when I click this, which I'm going to do now, it says everything that I'm not currently selecting, I want you to select that instead. So it's kind of like opposite day for selections. Watch what happens when I hit delete now. Aha! I get rid of everything that I didn't select originally. So I get to keep my barometer, which was my plan. Awesome. There's one final piece of information which is kind of important here. The background now looks white. Well, white is still white. So if I save this image, in fact, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's do save as, we're going to do barometer 01, and I'll just do it as a JPEG. And I've got my folder back here, barometer 01. You can see the white edge still there. Oh, I didn't get it by itself. So I've got to do one more thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Layer, and I'm going to go down to Transparency. The first option is Add Alpha Channel, and basically what that does is it tells the system to add an invisible background. So it can hold everything, but it's transparent. It can't be seen. And so now, when I hit Delete, it gets rid of that white, and I end up with a checkerboard pattern. That checkerboard pattern means that it's invisible, it's transparent. So I'm going to do Save As Now, and I'm going to do Barometer 2. And here's the tricky part. JPEGs are very good files, but they're not very good at dealing with uh, transparent things. So PNG or GIF dot GIF uh, or GIF are both good options. I go with PNG because GIF are usually animations, and we're going to play around with some of that here in the future too. So I'm going to save this as a PNG. Whatever the default settings are should be pretty good. We're going to go with save, and let's see our end result. Barometer 2. Ah, I don't see the white around it, so we're set. It's good and invis in transparent, I should say. So, that should be everything that you need for that, so that you can choose out specific parts of an image and get them by themselves.